Okay, uh, it is Saturday 6th of August 2016, uh, just a little bit more of an update on the R2 build. Uh, I've just taken delivery this morning of these aluminium shoulder hubs or shoulder flanges. Um, on the internet on the parts list you see them referred to as either of those. Um, and basically showed you last time the new legs which are aluminium to replace my MDF and 3D printed ones uh, these are a lot heavier but obviously quite a bit stronger and because they're machined they're more accurate than anything I could make in, in by hand in the, in the shed however mine were surprisingly close uh, I'm happy to say um, so basically what I've done now is I've taken away you may remember I had lots of different discs before there was a bit of wood and then there was about three different 3d printed discs that made the shoulders and then that shoulder butted up against there and so you, in fact you can even see the imprint where the paint has transferred um, so what I've done with the new ones because the holes are in a different uh, different place and because the other one I built was basically locked in three leg position I've done this uh, new set based on the plans so I've I've drawn the these circles in CAD and I've um, put the holes in the right position obviously did that on CAD again so it's more accurate than I can probably do by hand so these are some M12 bolts that are going right the way through um, I'll probably change them in for some cap heads so I can get an allen key in there because they're kind of a little bit difficult to get bolts in there um, but what I've done is I've done four sets of holes, so I've done, or sorry, two sets of holes. I've done the four that are sort of, you know, 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. But then I've also done another set of holes which are uh, 36 degrees rotated back, so you can be in three leg position, which you'll probably be in most of the time once you get the motors and everything in. But for now, I just wanted to be able to store him in two leg position as well because he takes up less room. Um, and it's nice to be able to have a, a change. Ultimately, one day, if I can ever afford it, I'm going to try and get one of the Com8 frames. Um, uh, the, there's two that they do that I'm interested in. One is, I think, one's the B and one's the C. Uh, one can be manually adjusted to two-leg or three-leg position. And then, of course, the really cool one uh, is the one that has all the mechanics to do a two to three conversion and back again, uh, all on its own, which would just be awesome, but that, that's probably some, some way off. Uh, so um, so that's basically it so I thought I'd just show you the difference and I'll also take the opportunity to show you how the legs fit back together um, <coughs> oh excuse me sorry bit of hay fever I think um, so anyway so basically what we have is we have the legs that are bolted on now and then you've got the shims these are the aluminium shims that sit in there and just provide a little silver line between the inner and outer shoulder so those are just screwed on like so so I'll do that and then I'll show you how the shoulder fits okay so that's the shims in place I've done on both sides so you're just gonna see that tiny little polished line in between the inner and outer shoulder uh, speaking of which these are the inner and outer shoulders now for those of you who have a thing about continuity errors like me if you watch Star Wars and if you watch people's builds on R2-D2 the shoulder is forever changing round so you've got the pneumatic tubes on the, the normally I, know, I don't know if there's a hard and fast rule on this but normally on the majority of the um, screenshots the tube is always at the front and the two buttons are always at the back in The Force Awakens they were the wrong way round um, although some people will probably say it's the right way around but if you if you do all your research you can if you look for every possible photo of an astromech you can on the internet the majority have that at the front which means that that one is not going to go there it's going to go there and that just fits on like so so yeah be interesting to see what you think um, about where this goes but as far as I can make out that should always be at the front not at the back um, I don't suppose it matters, but if they were really doing anything, of course, then they'd always have to be the same way around. You know, if that really is some sort of hydraulic actuator, for example, um, it wouldn't work if it's on the wrong way around. So, uh, yeah, continuity, I think, is, in, is more important, or is quite important. So, it, it does amaze me when 
if you watch all the uh, Star Wars films and then suddenly bits like that are on the opposite way around but hey ho that's continuity um, anyway so that's how those, those fit now obviously at some point I'm going to try and get some aluminium rocket booster covers uh, in the meantime I'm having to make do with my 3D printed ones and I've moved the locating screws from where they used to fit on my old legs um, and now they should fit in those whole, whole those key slots there they just go in and, and down and that's it and that's how they fit and they're nice and snug and you can affect you can tighten or loosen the fit by the distance the screw is from the back so if you want it tighter you'd screw the screw in a little bit more so there's less room between the two and there we go so that's the other one in and um, and that's the legs fitted so for now, it's going to have to do for now until I can get some aluminium ankles. I'm, I'm kind of amazed at the moment because the weight of all of this is just sitting on the, th on the actual 5mm <laughs> length of um, the top of that foot. And there's a glue joint in there. So all of that weight is sitting on top of the glue joint. So I'm going to put a toolbox underneath him just in case it gives way. But uh, so far seems pretty good you can stand there quite happy but ultimately like I say there'll be aluminium I hope one day but he's getting there the more alley the better he looks I reckon anyway that's it for now uh, I'll um, probably put the head on and just make sure everything's still working and uh, maybe give you another little shot before I uh, finish this little update okay as promised there he is not something just catching on the uh, the head at the moment as it as it spins so Need to sort that out. Yeah, just the head sitting just a millimetre or so too low at the moment, which is why it's uh, rubbing as it goes around. So, so there he is. Another step done. Still a long, long way to go, but. Uh, those legs look so much better, I think, now than the ones that were on before. You know, the other ones weren't too bad. Once you had all the detail on, you couldn't really find too much fault with them. But uh, I just, I just really wanted to, um, even if it takes longer, just do a as good a, as good a job as possible. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll catch you on the next update.